Hi everybody, so I'm going to be going over the turtle tree recursion problem in PSA 7 and I'm going to first go over the requirements for the method, um, how to draw a tree, and then going writing a little bit of sample pseudocode for this problem. So first we're going to have start with these three parameters, the turtle, the trunk length, and the height. Um, and the trunk length is basically this length right here, and in this example she has 128 and 6, and I'm just going to open up this picture right here, it's a little bigger. So this is 128 in this picture, and the height will be 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that will be the height. So basically from the root to the tip of the branches, the height will be 6. Okay, so if we also look at this example, she calls it on 256 and 7, this photo right here. Um, this trunk length will be 256, and the height will be 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? So from the root to the tips of the branches, the height will be 7. So you could also see this as um, there's going to be 7 turns, I guess. So 7, um, seven forwards and 7 turns, okay? So if, um, let's look at the sample um, a smaller problem I have here with height is equal to 3. Um, I've drawn this little tree right here. So if you look at this, the height is 3, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So um, from the base of the trunk right here to the tips of the branches, the height is 3. And we're just um, going to ignore the trunk length for now. Um, so keep in mind in recursion, we're always going to need a base case, which is basically it'll tell the method when to stop. So in our case, um, when if height if the height is zero, stop. Then stop. Okay, because we want since we're calling tree on let's say height three. This will be, it'll do something like 3, 2, 1, 0, and then stop because there's no more to go, okay? So, um, now we want to just do a sample branch. We want to look at a smaller part of the picture. So let's do this branch right here. Okay, and if we look at this, we're just going forward by trunk length rotating, going forward by a smaller amount of trunk length, rotating, going forward by a smaller amount, right? So because it's so repetitive, we can just break this down into recursion. And, um, you know, it reduces the amount of code to write and um, it makes things simpler. So we can just do go forward. Um, this is, do you mind this pseudocode, so not actual code. So. Um, this will be kind of like a template for the actual code. So go forward by trunk length. And then we want to turn, right? We want to rotate by some number of amount of degrees. And this will be this first step right here. But And this second step will be the exactly same, right? Except with a different trunk length and a different height now because this will be 2 and this was 3. So, so, so this one was 3, 2, this one was 1. So we can just call it again. So let's do trunk length. Oops. No. Turtle. Trunk length. We're going to do, I'm going to just use divide by 2. I think you can use whatever you like as long as it's um, less than original amount. So it will be height minus 1. Okay. Um, and basically we have our first um, branch right here. So now the second part we want to worry about is this little thing right here, this part. This part, this has the same length as this one, right? And it happens at the same level as that one. So we can just say it like, we could just do something like this. Turn the turtle in this direction. So we we left off right here, so now we want to go this way. So turn. And then we can just call the tree again. Okay. 
So, uh, after that, we've got this side. So if we follow, we have this. We've got, we left off out here, we turned, and we're going to go forward again. We're going to go forward, and we're going to turn. And then it's going to recurse again, but it, it'll stop because the height is zero, right? And then it'll basically um, stop and go to zero. So now we want to have it somehow go back to here, to the base again, and do the other side. So we're going to do some, some kind of turning. And then go backwards. So we can just go back right here. Okay. Um, so this is, um, if we look at the overall picture, I think this will be a lot clearer. It is basically the base case. Okay, this will tell it when to stop. And this one, this stop right here will be um, the left side of the branching. And this one right here will be the right side and right here we'll be resetting um, back to pretty much like the origin of your branching okay so if we look at this again we do this path right here when we finish we, we finish this right here then we turn to do the right side turn to do the right side the right side executes this line and it goes it tries to do the left side again but you know there is no left side to do so it finishes and then we reset we reset back down to here okay we reset and then we're going to do the left side again so we're going to do this left side right here we're going to finish we're going to do the right side we're going to turn yeah we're going to turn and then try to do it again but then we're going to reset and go backwards down to the base. Okay, and then we'll be done. So your overall code should look like that. Um, we can do an extra example with height is equal to 4 instead of 3. So here I've drawn a tree right here. The height of 4. Um, okay, yeah. So we're going to go forward, turn, forward, turn, forward, turn, forward, turn. Okay, we're going to finish, go to the right side. And keep in mind, this is at the same level as this one. So we're going to turn, we're going to turn, go forward, go forward, turn, try to do the left side. There is no left, right? So we're going to return back to here. And we're going to uh, call the right side again, right? Because this is recursing. So we're going to try to do the right side. We're going to go, this connects into here. So it's going to go forward, turn, and then it'll try to do the left now. So it'll go left, it'll finish, it'll turn and do the right, and then it'll reset back. So it'll reset back to here. And then we're going to go to the right. We're going to call the right again because we're not done with this yet. So we're going to go forward. So this one goes into here again. So go forward, do the left side like that. And then when it's done, it'll do the right side. It'll turn right here. And then it'll go back right here. And then it'll want to go forward again to the left side. So I want to do this one. It's good, and then it's going to want to do this one, and then we're going to reset back, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, please let us know if you have any more questions, and yeah, feel free to post on Piazza for any more questions.